BlackBerry just released a new phone with a full-fledged keyboard. OnePlus is bringing out a new color of the 6 just in time for the holidays. A leaked Geekbench score of the new iPhone running Apple's A12 processor shows awesome performance results. And last but not least, Samsung's messaging app is sending texts and photos to your contact list without your permission. How's it going guys? This is Arin and welcome to the first ever Tech Talk video. Let's get to it. First up on the list, the BlackBerry Key 2. Okay, so it's kind of a mid-range phone. Comes in about $650, Snapdragon 660, six gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, dual cameras on the back, four and a half inch touchscreen on the front with a full-fledged keyboard, and it comes running Android 8.1 Oreo. This looks like a really promising phone, and if you guys are interested, let us know. We can get the phone in the studio so we can review it. Now, just in time for Independence Day here in the United States, OnePlus decides to bring us a fully red OnePlus 6. Now, it reminds me a lot of the new product red iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, that kind of like cherry, candy, apple-ish red, not something too bright and uh, obnoxious. Now, it's only available in the variant that has 8 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of storage, so it'll set you back $579. It's coming out in the United States, India, and Europe, and it looks really awesome. So, for those of you who have been waiting for a uh, vibrant OnePlus 6, this just may be your shot. Now, supposed... Geekbench score of the new iPhone just came out, and I say supposed because I want you guys to take it with a grain of salt. It's not officially confirmed by anyone, but if the numbers hold true, the new iPhone looks to be an incredible performer. Now, the current iPhone 10 is already really solid with its A11 Bionic processor, coming in at a single core score of about 4,200 and a multi core score of about 10,300. Now the new iPhone is supposed to have a single core score of 4,600 and a multi-core score of 10,900. Now bear in mind, iOS is still in beta. So when this comes to full-fledged software, it should perform even better. One other interesting thing to keep in mind, the memory shown on the Geekbench information shows that the new iPhone has four gigs of RAM versus the current iPhone 10's three gigs. So new iPhone looks to be pretty legit. And last, but certainly not least, this one is a doozy, brought to you by Samsung. Now, some phone owners are reporting on Samsung's community forums and on Reddit that their phone is sending pictures and scheduled texts to random contacts throughout the day or throughout the night. Now, the key thing to remember here is they are not trying to text these contacts. These are random contacts that the phone is picking on its own, with one user reporting that the phone sent their entire photo library to their girlfriend overnight. Now for most people, this isn't a big deal, but for a lot, this is bothersome. And to be completely honest with you, I'm sure some of you find it an invasion of privacy because what's on your phone is private and yours. Now, some people speculate that it's an issue with T-Mobile's recent RCS messaging policy update. The majority of the users affected are on T-Mobile, but T-Mobile has came back and said this is an issue with Samsung. Now, Samsung has came back and said that they have heard these issues and they have a team currently working on investigating to see what's going on. But nonetheless, this is a really interesting issue. And just when you kind of thought that the whole Note 7 thing was uh, kind of under the carpet, now you're just uh, kind of sending your text to everybody. Um, yeah. All right, guys, that just about does it for the first ever Tech Talk video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Honestly, let us know what you guys thought about this style of video in the comments. We're trying to make different format videos. Yeah, we can make phone reviews and stuff like that all the time and go with y'all's suggestions about which phone to review and which phone to pick up next. But we want to kind of start evolving the channel into a full blown tech channel, not just product reviews. So let us know what you thought about the video. Of course, we'll also link all the uh, news articles in the description down below so you guys can check out everything that we've talked about. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe before you start uh, checking out those news articles, okay? Uh, I love you guys. I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. A supposed leak of Apple's new iPhone with an A12 processor shows incredible performance improve. Imp ah, ah! So close! <laughs> uh, oh man, there's the blooper.